My name is Jane Allen and my novel is Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. It will be released on August 3rd via Harper Perennial. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted is the first novel in a series. It's a planned trilogy. And in the first book, we meet Tabitha Walker. She's a woman in her early 30s, and she thinks her life is going according to plan. She has an enviable job, she has friends, she has a boyfriend. She even has a savings account that's inching its way towards a down payment for a house. And then life happens. She has an unexpected reproductive health issue that threatens her ability to have a biological family, which just so happens to be the thing that she wants most. And all of a sudden it becomes about making her journey the one that she always intended and not just about life that's been happening to her. And she has to re-examine her entire life in order to make that happen. It's a bit of a comedy of errors. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll get to know Ms. Gretchen, who is a woman in her 90s who says everything that you and I wish we had the courage to say. This book is about finding your word, about examining your life, and determining how you'd like it to be defined, rather than just accepting the various definitions that life and society would place upon us. So in so many ways at the beginning of the story, Tabby Walker's word is exhausted. And it's being imposed on her through various layers of experience in society. So she's a black female, so there's the layers of race and gender, and she's demanding career, so there's that. But then there's the unexpected reproductive health challenge that kicks off the story. In the midst of all this, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted provides a glimpse into the experience of race on an everyday basis. So Tabitha's grandmother, who is her closest family member, is a white woman. And the two of them share an incredibly intimate and beautiful relationship that allows them the space to discuss very complex issues in an environment of love, courage, and trust. So my inspiration for writing this book was to try to write something that I wanted to read and that I hadn't seen before. I wanted to write a novel that could fit into the contemporary entertainment landscape and stand on its own and make someone who wasn't even necessarily a regular reader pick up a book rather than engage with some other form of content or like turning on the television. So the idea for Black Girls Must Die Exhausted came in 2016 and around the time of that year's election. And the environment was so vitriolic at the time and a lot of the rhetoric was being directed towards women and minorities. And as a black woman, it was especially exhausting at the time and I wanted to write something that could acknowledge the trauma, but that could also celebrate those that were surviving it on a daily basis and then end with an inspirational call to thrive to the reader and the permission to live out your dreams and to begin to dream again in spite of circumstances. So I wanted to write a book that by the last page, the reader could feel transformed in some way for the better. So I realized I was doing something different and I received a lot of no's at the beginning. And so I just decided to self-publish and I spent the entire pandemic meeting with groups of readers virtually. It was dozens of book clubs across five continents and we talked about everything from race to gender to career to reproductive health and I realized that this was a book that made people naturally want to share it with others and to naturally begin conversations that we're only just beginning to learn how to hold space for. I hope that readers will first be entertained in reading Black Girls Must Die Exhausted and feel like it was one of the best ways that they could have spent their time. And beyond that, I want the reader to close the last page of the book with a renewed sense of self-celebration and joy in what the journey of their life has been and could be. I would hope that they gain a deeper sense of the layers that can be discovered if you look just a little closer at everyday life and everyday people and see the magic there and realize that there's so much more that we have in common than what we think separates us or divides us. I hope it creates new conversations, new friendships, and a community of readers all around the world who now have some very interesting things to talk about.